Hi everyone, welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. This is Melanie and today we are using another page kit to document another photo. I have this 4x6 photo here of my niece. I don't have a particular story about it, she just looks kind of cute, I think. And she's given me this look like, seriously, another photo? <laughs> so that's the photo that I'm going to be using. The page kit includes three different papers from a beautiful life from Echo Park. I have this partially used one. Uh, this was called Tickets. And then I have a full sheet of this one and it is called Bouquets. And then uh, this one which is called Doilies. And I'm going to be using this sketch here. I found it from Page Maps. And I am going to follow this pretty literally. Um, the only, I'm thinking it right now, the only exception is that instead of two photos, I'm just going to use the one. But everything else, I'm going to try and be pretty true to the sketch. Usually what happens is I start with a sketch and it doesn't end up quite that way. But this time, I, I think I'm going to be pretty true. So if you look at the sketch, you will see that there are a number of strips or banners and I plan to make those out of washi and I have three different washi strips here. I'm going to add these to white cardstock first so that it'll give it a little bit more stability as well as some opaqueness because washi tends to be a little bit see-through and these patterns are quite busy. So that is what I'm going to do for the strips. There are a couple of tags up at the top and I have these ones here. I picked these up, I think, at the Target dollar spot at one point. And they're not a perfect match, but they're pretty close. So I've got a few of them. We'll figure out which ones I want to use. For the title, I'm not sure on what I'm going to do for a title yet or what size. Sorry for the glare. But I have two different. Um, this is from Studio Calico. They're flat stickers. And this is from Happy Life. Um, they are a very small, thicker. In the sketch, they have some splatters, and I thought I could use this Nouveau Mica Mist. This is in the color Turkish Rose. So I thought that would go really well. And to flesh out the papers, I'm going to throw in this grid paper for the background. This is a jelly bean soup. St soup Staples 3 Graphic. So, not using that side, using it for the grid. And I think that is about it. There are a couple of embellishment clusters on the layout. And my intent is to use the tickets. So trim these out as embellishments, as well as the doilies. So the only other thing I may add are some enamel dots to finish it off. So that is it. Let me get going. Okay, so this is the very rough approximation of how this is all going to end up. This floral piece is 6 by 12. This mint green piece is 5 by 6. Like I said, I put the washi tape on some white and I'm going to trim those probably close to 6 inches, I think. But the first thing I'm going to do now that I kind of have a general idea of where everything is is lay out some splatters and I'm not going to use the spray I'm just going to um, undo it and just kind of tap so once I get this situated I will show you what I mean by that um, this will need to be mixed okay I'm gonna live daring here and not put anything underneath we'll see how this goes so again we're just going to to splatter like so and then this is going to come up about here so make sure I've got enough splatters and then we're going to put some down in this corner. I think that looks good. I'm just going to dry it and I will be back. Okay so here's the completed layout. As you can see it's very close to the original sketch. Two clusters 
the tags as well as a tab for the date, the titles all in the same spot, the journaling, everything is pretty much the same as the sketch. So that's the beauty of sketches. You can make them as close as you want or you can take bits and pieces and veer off in different directions. Now obviously my clusters are different. I don't have flowers but you get the idea, right? I'm just going to show you the splatters so you can see how they turned out. Those are quite, looks quite cute and very easy to do and gives you a little bit of that mixed media feel without making a big huge mess. So I had a few scraps left and I quickly put together this base page so that I will have something ready for another time. Seeing as I had the mist out anyways, I did use the splatters on here and basically everything on this page is just paper. So the flowers were cut out from the paper as were the doilies and then of course this was the pattern, same pattern paper I used on the other layout. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you use sketches, I'd love to hear which ones are your favorites. I tend to go with page maps quite a bit and also scrapbook generations, but I'm always open to new sketches. If you do have a sketch that you wish to challenge me with, please let me know below. Give me a link to the sketch and who knows, it may come up in a video soon. Thanks again and until next time, happy grafting.